Okay, in this problem, we're going to evaluate this indefinite integral. This problem is a little bit harder because um, your initial uh, suggestion, your initial attempt when doing this problem would be to let u equals 1 minus x squared. And at least mentally you should do this. And then so du uh, will be negative 2x dx. Except you have a 3x plus 6 here, so it doesn't quite work out, especially the 6. The 6 kind of uh, ruins everything. So what you want to do is break it up as follows. So 3x over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx plus and then 6 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So again, your initial thought should be this, which is not an incorrect thought. We're actually going to use this. But you see that it doesn't quite work out. So then after that, you look at it and you say, hey, okay, maybe I can break it up. So, so you do that. So now we'll go ahead and finish this process, and that will allow us to do this first integral. So we called the bottom piece u, and we computed our du. Now here we have a 3x dx. Here we have negative 2x dx. So we can multiply both sides by negative 3 halves, like this. And I'm going to squeeze it in there in a different color. You can barely see it. So this is negative 3 halves du equals, and these will, the negatives will cancel, so you'll get 3x dx. Beautiful stuff. So now this piece here, the 3x dx, that's going to be your negative 3 halves. And then you have du and then the bottom is just the square root of u. So that part's okay. Plus, this next integral here is actually really easy. There's a formula. If you have 1 over the square root of a squared minus x squared dx, it's an arc sine. This is going to be equal to the arc sine of x over a plus, plus c. So a here is 1, right, because 1 squared is equal to a squared, so a should be equal to 1. So this is just going to be, pull the 6 out. So you get 6 arc sine of x over 1. And you can write the c or you can wait. Uh, I'm going to wait to the very end to write it. We can assume that it's getting absorbed into this one if we like. Because what happens is you get two plus c's. Like we get a c1 and a c2. Then you can just call that c. So you can wait if you want, since we still haven't integrated both, to write the plus c. To integrate this first one, we have to write it as u to a power. So the square root will become a u to the 1 half. So it'll be this. But then when we can bring it upstairs, it will make it negative. So we'll have u to the negative 1 half du plus 6 arc sine x. So this is equal to, so now when we integrate this last integral, we definitely have to write the plus c. So it's negative 3 halves u. We're adding 1. So 1 plus negative 1 half is 1 half. When you divide by 1 half, you really multiply by 2. And then we still have our 6 arc sine x. And now finally, it's been bothering me, we can write that plus c. These cancel, so we get negative 3 turn the u back into a square root. And what was this piece? Oh, this was 1 minus x squared. It's from the beginning. Plus 6 arc sine x plus c. So not too bad. Not, not too bad of a problem. Um, all you have to do is break it up. And the first integral is just a u sub. And the second one is just an arc sine from uh, what we've been looking at before. So uh, I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.